made it. We made it. Uh, we're running on two hours sleep. You are, yeah. I am, yeah. Everyone else is well rested, but I'm very, <laughs> rested. Uh, very well rested in comparison to him. A lot of coffee today, I think, is going to happen. Yeah. Uh, it's sod's law, it's raining. Uh, this is what I was just saying. This is what I was saying because obviously last year we were praying for rain. We've been praying for rain all the drift days I've ever done. Yeah. Because I had the little engine. And now I've got the big engine in and already want to try it out and dry. Yeah. It's raining. But it's hopefully there shouldn't fun. be uh, too many tyre changes then. I can just practice. <laughs> Keep going round and round. Yeah. Be good, it'd be good. Nice one up. <laughs> Number one, my steering keeps locking up on uh, opposite angle. Um, the exhaust we've made, and we made an indent in the pipe so that this would fit the stud on the UJ, uh, but it's not enough when the car is moving. So we're going to have to make a modification to the washer, and hopefully the head will sit in further, and uh, that'll work. Problems. Been going perfect all day. Unfortunately, uh, got a rad pattern. You see it? It's leaking out there. Dead rad. So that's going to be the end of today. Alright, guys. So that's it for this video. As you've just seen, um, car ran pretty much flawlessly all day with the new engine in. Perfect. Um, we had a new setup done by Seismic Motorsport. Car felt amazing, really, really controllable and really, really grippy in the wet, which was nice. Um, shortly after we recorded this, the uh, heavens opened and it absolutely hammered down. So it was just a complete rush at the end of the video to uh, record anymore and tell you what actually had happened. But what it looked like in the video that the rad had exploded um, at the bottom of the pack, what actually happened when we got back to the workshop was the pipe along the back of the uh, expansion bowl had burst pouring down the back of the rad and uh, making it look like our rad had gone but at least um, as teething problems go that's a nice easy fix so all good on that front on a whole car went really really well day was awesome 
Um, loads of nice cars out as per usual. I managed to get a few little tandems in there as well before the car uh, or for the radiator let go, what we thought. Um, yeah, and just looking forward to getting back out there in the next couple of videos and the next couple of shows and drifting it some more. So we'll see you then. And always like, follow, subscribe. See you later.